Well, you know what? Screw your dibs. I'm still going to make this video. Also, please pay attention to the disclaimer in the description because I do not want it to drag out for very long. Also, because you don't have anyone to represent yourself with, I'm going to take the liberty of doing that for you and inserting an avatar for you. You owe me 20 million zenny. Anyway, with all that said, cue the intro. Versus... to some actual professional actresses, the most common reply has been, ah, well, uh, you see, there's a strong association between uh, actress and prostitute. Is there? Uh, no, not that I know of. It didn't even occur to me until I watched your video, mainly because I don't view women as sex objects, and I'm sure most Western men don't either. So, I don't get where these actresses you've spoken to are coming from with this whole prostitution thing. So, maybe you have a point. I mean, you could have just spoken to some of the more, like, feminazi types. They're just making it harder for women to be taken seriously. So, yeah, I do kind of see where you're coming from. So, let's hear it out. Now, I can believe that that association did once exist in the Jacobean period, but for goodness sake, today? It's 2015, does, does, nearly 2016. Exactly! It's 2016, and women don't want to be reminded of their dark and troubled past. Now, granted, the whole prostitution thing is really far-fetched, and, uh, yeah, nobody thinks of prostitution when they think of women acting nowadays, but, you know, it's just the fact that it is a reminder of that time when women were just viewed as lesser beings, or the second sex. That's what it's a reminder of. And again, we wouldn't have a problem if there were a male counterpart, but there isn't. Aside from the one I just made up. All I'm getting from your video is that you're saying, Oh, it's okay to classify women as a minority because they have equal rights now, so they won't mind. Well, by that logic, I could say it's okay to treat men the same way because they have equal rights, right? Look, I know that's probably not what you meant. And deep down, you probably do genuinely care about women, as you previously stated. But when you're pretty much stating we live in an era when women have equal rights, don't you think that would be a good reason not to indicate otherwise? God, do you see the problem now? Because I sure do, and it's a giant fucking elephant at that. This was a complete bore. Literally, I could not listen to this. Not even half the video I could stand this. Mostly because it was abysmally boring. So boring that it actually irritated the shit out of me. I understand, yes, commentaries are for criticism, for constructive criticism, we fucking know that. But commentaries have other purposes too, and that is to, you know, entertain the audience in some form of way. Hell, going back earlier when we even started this, you didn't even have any avatar or something to represent yourself with. You still owe me 20 million zenny, by the way. In which, it can take even more people out of the experience, and you even had an editor at the fucking least to run a GIF background. So what was stopping you? I would care about the fact that you literally got fed up because of a universal suffix, which, might I add, sounds pretty fucking trivial, would have cared that you're also tackling a political subject that would be subjective to everyone, and especially since you tackled this on your first commentary, or hell, even the fucking fact that you constantly repeated yourself throughout this entire video because fucking repetition, am I right? No, because the bigger problem lies solely into the fact that you were extremely boring, that most could not even stand to tolerate this. Speaking of which, this video is a direct PSA to all commentators, and that being what I said earlier. If you're going to commentate on something, at the very least, be entertaining, have some form of jokes, or if you're going to play the serious guy role, then try to be over the top with being serious, or when in fucking doubt, be a meme or include dank memes. 
At the end of the day, though, try to be entertaining instead of being as boring as this gentle made in this video. I also understand that this is your first video, but that doesn't excuse how boring, tedious, and ridiculous this commentary was to sit through. I have no intention to discourage anyone from making commentaries, as I've talked about why that's bad, and especially if you're going to tackle something as political as this. But please take everything I'm saying into consideration. It will help you out in the grand scheme of things. Anyway, I'm the Masked Star Maker, and ladies and gentle mates, I'll see you on the other side. Good night. Mas, heal